You could have seen this one coming. Dr. Seuss is one of the world's most beloved children's authors. He's an American. But his books were written before 2008, so it was inevitable that somebody in academia was going to call them racist. And that, of course, is exactly what happened. A new academic study argues that, quote, racism spans across the entire Seuss collection, the oeuvre. The study says it's a myth that books like Horton Hears a Who and the Sneetches, which are actually against racism, promote tolerance. The chief argument is that Seuss's characters are too male and they have the wrong skin colors, whatever those are. Author and columnist Mark Stein joins us tonight. What? They have the wrong skin colors? What were the skin colors yeah, that, of Dr. Seuss? That's right. They've done a survey and concluded that only 2% of the characters in Dr. Seuss are persons of color. And they find this problematic. Um, I actually find the word problematic problematic <laughs> uh, because it's become a way of, uh, for, for social justice warriors, uh, to label anything they don't like without actually engaging uh, right. in it with it in any coherent it. Yes. way. Uh, and so it may be, there may be all kinds of reasons why only 2% of characters in Dr. Seuss are persons of color. Um, there's not a lot of same-sex marriage in uh, Jane Austen. There are very few Muslims in uh, P.G. Woodhouse. Uh, authors generally are entitled to write about the characters they want to write about. If you talk with living novelists, for example, uh, the uh, best-selling American novelist Lionel Shriver uh, told me uh, last year that because she writes about characters who are not middle-aged white women like herself, she gets accused of cultural appropriation. So if a white woman writes in the voice of a black man, she's culturally appropriating. If a thin person writes in the voice of the obese, they're culturally appropriating. So you can't win either way. And what, uh, what these vandals, cultural vandals are doing now, are basically trying to make us live in a permanent year zero as exactly. they called it in Cambodia, uh, where we have no cultural inheritance and we're just bobbing around in the flotsam and the jetsam of a hyper-present tense, which is no way to live. No art is being created right now. It's crap. No. Literally, because no. it can't be. Okay, i got to ask yeah. about this story. I thought of you and I read this this morning. So the world's best bridge player apparently has got busted for doping. His name is Greg Hagelmo. Right. He was suspended by the World Bridge Federation after a test found elevated testosterone levels. Bridge, of course, not right. typically associated with home run records. Oh, oh. Uh, is this, are you surprised, Thorne, there's doping in Bridge? No, absolutely not. Bridge is uh, renowned for the use of performance-enhancing drugs. All these guys, you know, everybody's grandma is on steroids and testosterone <laughs> in these Bridge fours. Uh, down at the uh, Elks Lodge. It's, it's terrible. I can't, I, I've, I, I had a problem with it too. I was playing solitaire with myself when I realized I'd taken performance enhancing <laughs> drugs. Uh, you, can't, you can't get through uh, all these. You go to any senior center in Florida and uh, traces of urine are being found in their drug samples all the time. Uh, this is the way, this is, this is just the world we live in now. Performance enhancing drugs uh, for bridge fours. Uh, it's, uh, it's, we've come to a... That's why it's pouring across the border. Uh, it's because pretty, it's, we have to... <laughs> it's anabolic steroids and shuffleboard. That's next. Yep. I'm totally convinced. Yep. Mark Stein, the best. Always great to see you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tucker. We could go on forever, obviously, but they allot only one hour to the show. Happily, we'll be back tomorrow, 8 p.m., the show that is the sworn and totally sincere enemy of lying, pomposity, smugness, and groupthink, all of which are so ubiquitous, you don't even notice them. But they are there, and they're distorting things. So fight back if you can. Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow, but we have great news for you.